sure I'm a little bit biased because I went there, but I'm going to tell you right now, that's the greatest university in the history of mankind. UM, live look, and if you want more great looks around South Florida, just go to southflorida.com slash webcams and get excited because the Hurricane football team is back. I know that has nothing to do with anything, but I just thought I'd mention it. All right, Broward County Transit wants to make your commute a whole lot smoother, and we're taking a look this morning at the I-95 and I-595 in expansion in a sponsored segment by Broward County Transit. And here with us today, sitting right next to me, Chris Walton, the director of the Broward County Transportation Department. You agree, University of Miami football, Hurricanes football team, the best ever, right? Absolutely, absolutely, without a doubt. Okay, I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. It's very important. Let's see what they do in the Oklahoma game. Okay, all right. I like your style. All right. Okay. All right, so we have some exciting new expansions to talk about. Let's talk about the I-95 one first. Yeah, starting uh, first quarter next year, we will initiate service from Western Broward across Pines, Hollywood Boulevard, into downtown Miami via 595 hot lanes. Okay, and uh, explain why this is going to be such an exciting thing for passengers, why, uh, why you're so excited about doing this. Well, Probably the biggest problem we have in, in public transportation in Broward County is, is east-west travel. We do north-south fairly well, but if anyone has, has ridden on I-595 or any east-west corridor in the morning, eastbound, and in the afternoon, westbound, the congestion is just horrible, and the, and the trip times are just untenable. So we're initiating this service with our partners with the Florida Department of Transportation and um, some other regional partners to try to make the commute a lot easier. And this is going to be in the HOV lanes, is that correct? Well, on Hollywood Pines Boulevard, we don't have HOV lanes, okay, HOV right. lanes yet, but as it hits I-95, I right. it will be an HOV lane. Right, okay. And uh, a little bit about the I-595 expansion as well. Yes, yeah, same thing. Uh, again, one of the major problems that we have is it, that, that 595 really bottlenecks coming into downtown in the morning. Uh, as 595 is being repaved, and ultimately we'll run buses down the center of 595. But for right now, we're going to start two routes, one from Sawgrass Mills Mall and one from the Cleveland Clinic. And they'll both end up in downtown Fort Lauderdale. How do you choose these routes? Well, basically, you look at the travel patterns and you look at, at what, the, what the potential demand would be in terms of ridership. We know, again, looking at the level of service that I-595 currently provides, uh, the volume of traffic is, is just unmanageable. So we hope to remove some of those cars from the freeways and put people on buses and, and thereby make the commute better for everyone. And how much is this going to cost uh, riders? Well, it's an express fare. It's a new service for Broward County. Uh, our base fare is going to go to $1.50 October 1st. However, for this service, because it's express and we have limited stops and parking ride, parking ride lots on the, along the way, it'll be $2.35. And just remind us one more time, when you expect these to go into effect? Well, the I-595 is we'll go in about a year from now, but we're planning right now to implement the 95 Express service uh, in about January, February of next year. All right, and by the way, when this is all said and done, if you're ever looking for another career, you should be a voiceover guy. <laughs> Man, you have the coolest, right? The coolest voice ever. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll have to have you back when the Hurricanes play Oklahoma, all right? I'm looking forward to it. All right, all right. good. All right, and, uh, check your route to your commute. Just go to southflorida.com slash traffic. And speaking of traffic, Mr. Traffic will have an update on your Monday commute in just a few minutes. And what are commissioners doing with your tax money? Good question, right?